Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're doing something fun. We're doing Mac versus Windows for development. I get a lot of questions, which is the best laptop to get? And honestly, the answer is, is are you developing for iOS or Mac? If you are, get a Mac. Are you developing for Windows? Then your freedom is kind of opening up. I'd say get a Windows laptop because Apple are pretty much killing support for Windows. <laughs> Check out their new ARM laptops coming out very soon. So yeah, that is the answer. You kind of need one of each. In the past, I'd always say get a Mac because you could always dual boot, but that is uh, no longer the case. So we're having a bit of fun today. We're doing 3D game development while it still lasts. I mean, Apple and Epic, they're going to war. We're gonna be checking out Unreal Engine if it still works on Mac, it does, but how does it perform? We're gonna be also checking out Android Studio Development just to show you the experience on both laptops. Now to start off the show, I have a Razer Blade Pro. This is a 17 incher. It's got an RTX 2080 GPU. It's got 10th generation Intel CPU. It is a boom, 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 shakalaka. And I've got the creme de la creme of MacBook Pros. Well, the semi creme de la creme. Last year's 2019, this is the ninth generation Intel CPU with a 5500M. It's a very, very beefy, very, very sexy laptop. Both laptops right now, they're idling. And let me just get my measurements for dB noise levels. And the MacBook Pro is silent. It's around 36 dB. I can't hear it whatsoever. The Razer, however, it is a little bit audible to my ear. I can hear the fans whirring a tiny bit. 41 dB. Now this of course is idle just with Epic Games Launcher running on the screen. And in case you're wondering, Epic Games Launcher, Epic. I don't understand, you guys are the best programmers in the world, yet your application sucks. Seriously, you click on home, look how slow it is. It takes forever on both Windows and Mac. It is the most poorly implemented app store I've seen. I literally clicked the button, five seconds wait, and it took, <laughs> took me to the screen. Okay, scrolling on Windows is slightly better than on Mac. Mac is chuggy as uh, it's very, very chuggy. So in case you're wondering, yeah, Epic Games Launcher is pathetic on both platforms. Now I've got the Infiltrator demo and I'm gonna launch both projects at the same time. We're gonna be seeing how fast they launch. Three, two, one, go. Both of them have been clicked 100%. It is loading 10% on the right. It's gone all the way up to 95% on Windows. Allow, let's do it. 83% on Mac. 95% on Windows. Now, I have launched this project before, so this is the second launch of the project. Both at 95%, who's gonna win? There you have it on the screen. The Razer is started compiling the shaders at this point, and the fans of the MacBook Pro, they are getting very, very loud. It's gone to 46 dB, it's gonna shoot all the way up to 50 plus dB, whereas the fan noise of the Razer is consistent around 42. So the shaders are still compiling, so it's not 100% legit but we're getting 17 frames a second on the Windows RTX 2080 Super, and we're getting 11, 11 frames a second on the 5500M. Definitely fan noise. I mean, they are very, very loud on the MacBook Pro. Officially, the figure is 52 and a half dB. Comparing that to the Razer, tested it earlier, I'll test it again right now. It registers right now at 47, but when I tested it earlier on its own without the MacBook Pro's fans running, it was 42 dB. So we got 52, an extra 10 dB, and uh, it sounds uh, twice as loud as the Razer in person. So I'm not sure what Apple are doing with their MacBooks. Maybe when they go to ARM, maybe it'll be quieter, but right now with Intel, they're doing a really bad job. Whew, this is a long one. All right, we're officially 17 and a half minutes since we launched the projects, and the Windows laptop, the Razer Blade Pro, is at 400 shaders remaining, whereas the Mac, 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 MacBook Pro, 12,000 shaders to go. We're gonna do it in just 18 minutes. Can it be done? It's a race. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh boom! We're done, Windows, and we're getting a frame rate there. Look at that, 20, 40 frames a second. Very, very sexy, underneath. Launched and compiled fresh in under 18 minutes. MacBook Pro still trugging away. 12,000 shaders to go. Let's see how long it takes. What time is it? All right, so it's almost 14 minutes later. Now just remember, it took this Windows guy 18 minutes to fully compile the shaders and launch the application. A whole 14 and a half minutes later and the MacBook Pro is still compiling shaders. So the MacBook Pro is almost twice, twice, officially twice as slow. <laughs> That's really bad. 
<laughs> twice as slow. Compiling shaders, 100 shaders left, 95.65. Okay, almost done. And it took a total of 32 minutes and 54 seconds for the MacBook Pro to finish the show. Ah, oh, yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad. But one thing you need to remember is these compilation tasks, they're like one, one off kind of jobs. You, you, you go away, you go to lunch, and uh, you come back and it should be ready. The, the rest of the kind of work that you do when you're developing is more like rebuilds and you don't have to go for a big shader compile to do that kind of stuff. Like back in the day when I used to make Xbox games, yeah, when I used to work in the games industry, it was so much fun. Whenever I wanted to take a break, I used to just recompile my shaders. Sometimes I had to legitimately, especially when you're doing a 3D rendering kind of stuff. But yeah, whenever I wanted a break, recompile, take a break, dust around, and I can just be surfing Reddit. That's what I used to do. <laughs> So compilation isn't bad, but what you want to see is how does it perform when you're actually using the application. So I'm using, oh, it's, uh, oh, I'm going to have to get my glasses for this one. But just using this, this sample, it might be a bit too overloaded for it. It's going as low as six frames a second just to use the scene. I mean, moving left and right is less bad, but moving forwards and back is very, very slow compared to the Windows laptop. I'm getting 38 frames a second now. Both of them are on cinematic. You can always change the quality settings to lower and have a better experience. But yeah, it's a lot smoother right now. The lowest it goes frame rate wise is I'd say 25 frames a second on the Windows laptop. One big note is that this laptop is 1080p whereas this guy is around 2K. So there is a disadvantage for the MacBook Pro because it has a retina screen. If this guy was 4K, I reckon you could still handle it because it has the RTX 2080 Super GPU inside. So, I mean, is there, is there a point of playing, playing this demonstration? I'll tell you what the point is. Let's reduce the settings. Let's see how usable can we make this project on a MacBook Pro. So I'm gonna make the engine scalability settings to low and see how it performs. So settings, low. And the great thing about doing that is it looks like it's stalled the editor on both systems. Oh, it's back. But it has to recompile the shaders because I chose low settings. So that's why that big stall is happening. I've had enough of this. I'm closing it down. And we're going to go into Android Studio. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a brand new project on both of them. The race is on. It is Building Gradle at the moment. Building Gradle at the moment. I've got to say the font size is nicer on this uh, 1080p display. <laughs> this 4K, this 2K display is very, very uh, challenging. Downloading the material, building the model of Gradle. It looks like it's neck and neck. You probably can't see it. The text is just way too low res. Android Studio really likes to hide what it's doing in the background. You really got to look at the status bar to see what's going on. Right now it's building, it's downloading, it's building, it's downloading. And who's gonna launch the application first? I'm actually hearing a bit of fan noise coming from the Razer. It's the complete opposite of what was happening when we was using GPU. So I'd say, oh, uh, it looked like the Mac. The Mac launched the emulator like one second faster than the Windows laptop. And that is a, a fun test. So as you saw, when you're doing a Unreal Engine, it was almost twice as slow on the Mac, but when you're doing just normal Android Studio development, the Mac's a very, very sexy platform. Hope you found this fun experiment useful. What else are you guys doing with your time? This is what I do with my time. I guess hopefully it was useful for you guys out there. What, what do you think? What are you gonna get, a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop? I probably, going forwards, I'm gonna need maybe both. Or maybe I'll stick with a MacBook Pro because I like them, I like Macs. And maybe I'll get a Windows PC desktop because I need to support both platforms so I'm kinda like stuck with that and we'll see how it goes from now. I guess the biggest critical decider will be what Apple do with their new ARM MacBook Pros. If they turn the MacBook Pro into an iPad, then I'm officially gonna ditch the Apple platform. I'll just get a, a Mac Mini or something like that for iOS development. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep this one for life and uh, never upgrade until they sort that ARM stuff out. I don't wanna be an early, <laughs> I don't wanna be an early adopter for that kind of mess. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you found this video useful and of course, enjoyed the show.